Hello guys. So this video presentation is all about a QR QR code generation and how to read the QR code using the camera. So I am using libraries to generate the QR code and also a library to access the camera and let the camera read the QR code. So let's try start the program. Uh, I already have the the java file here or java project and i created this a uh, new frame if you don't know how to do it just access my uh, videos tutorial on how to create frames it's there can be checked and please add a, a label for this id this is a text field and this is a button and this one is text label label okay so we will try to add a code now that will generate the QR code okay but before that make sure to add these libraries this uh, five two, three, four, five libraries these libraries are useful in the web camera and the generation of our uh, QR code okay I will put the link in the description and try to download it okay so now let's try to create our code go to the source code but first first is we need to create a method to access the to access the what you call this one uh, the QR code no I will just copy this one I already have the code I will just put it here and then okay I will put the code also in the description so that so, so that you can copy and paste okay and then this uh, method has a four uh, parameter string data which is the name of the data the path the location to save the character set that we are using the map the data structure that we are using to generate the the code we are using the 2d 2d qr code the the height and the width of the qr code and then you are specifying a uh, true exception like the writer exception and the io exception after that one we will uh, instantiate new uh, multi uh, format writer this writer is used to generate uh, to instantiate for the generation of our QR code with different parameters this is to encode right to encode encode a new string of QR code with a byte of character set that we are using so if you familiar in IT we have this U UTF whatsoever character set so the f familiar or the, the mostly used uh, character set is the UTF okay and then the barcode format from the API that we are using the width and the height after that one once we instantiate or unencoded our QR code we will now write it in our computer okay so write to file the location that we specify which is we will it specify later okay so once we finish the method let's go to the design and right click this method the add this button generate qr code event action and action perform here it's empty so yeah first is you need to declare this one the image icon image and then add the it will ask you to add the 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 package of this image icon so just add it and then inside of that button we need to create a try catch to make sure that we will catch the exception okay so the exception just put this as it uh, this default uh, exception method and then uh, okay okay next is we will uh, declare declare a string str equals uh, from our jtx field 
uh, one hmm, that we will get the text inside of that one because we will use that one as we will use this one as our file name and the use for the location of our our image okay the file name and then the location and then uh, we will de declare a path string path string path i always use the where's my computer where's my system located i will use the system located to get the property which is the user that the directory of this file and then i will add uh, concatenate this slash format okay and after that one i will also declare a string path this is now our location oh no I, yeah path is already there next is the car car set character set so we are using the utf 8 uh, 8 semicolon next is we will declare the map this is a data structure mapping ah, map okay map the the map use a pair value ah, what i forgot the name it should be the element and the value okay we use the encode hint type which is part of the api and then the next one is the error correction so we are using the error hopefully is there what happened correction yeah error correction level okay and then we will name this one as hash map and then new hash map map should include these two oh my god it's wrong it's wrong hash map should put the encode as the parameter and then the error correction level okay next is once we have the map we will uh, put now the correction error and the level of correction the hash the hash the hash map that we access the put method by using the the error code hint the encode hint error correction that's okay here not the margin we'll use the error correction and up up and the next part error correction level is l oh, that's okay semicolon after the map we will invoke the user defined method that creates the qr code so what is that method the generate uh, this one so the first variable is the tr followed by the path so the path now will include the file name do we have the file name the file name or the str right the str and then we will add the the type the png i use a png followed by character set after the character set we have the map what's the width let's try 200 by 200 okay and then after that one we will declare and uh, we we will generate our new or instantiate the new image image icon which we will put the image from the str and then we will add uh, that png okay and this one will be displayed in our j 
JJ level 2 let's check this one what is this one okay J level 2 but we will remove the image first or the text of that uh, label and then we will now set the icons into the image and then yeah save so let's try to run mm, this one right run file oh where is it okay here okay it's here let's try to write something like student id two one two three four five six like that generate yeah it will display it here now i will take a photo for this one i will take a photo okay because i need that one to for the code to uh, read the qr code okay the code to create the okay and then let's try to create another java main class java class this one java main class let's name it as new name i will remove this one for um okay i will declare the webcam inside of the main method and add the class library which is this one for this one okay this is a way to uh, generate the object and then I will add several codes so this one is to set the size of our webcam which is 320 by 240 I will add these libraries this one is we will generate a webcam panel okay add and next one is we will generate a frame where we will put the webcam we will add the webcam pack it uh, make it uh, closable like the, like the button in in the upper right side we have this exit button uh, relative to the location and set is set as visible through to make it visible to the to the program okay now let's try to run uh, okay okay but before this okay yeah let's try to run run so this is me okay we run the program but uh, this is only the same thing for our uh, webcam so next is we will try to ex execute a program that will read our QR code so I will execute a do statement do this and then on the while statement while while true so read everything while it's true and then inside of that do while I will put a try catch and then I will not put anything in the try catch first is I will declare a buffered reader this is a buffered image to read the, the image from the webcam and next is I will put the luminance to make sure that uh, I have a clear vision this one add the luminance uh, import it and next is I will instantiate a new bitmap binary bitmap and next is I will capture the output whatever the camera uh, is reading and then I will put it in this uh, result variable just add just add everything the library now I will put a statement 
Sometimes there are empty data in the camera so I will write this one if the result that when the result or when the text result is not equal so not equal to null okay if that that's not equal to null what should I do I will so it means there's a data so I will execute this G option pane and it will read the information and display it in the G option pane add this library and then and then add this code this is to once you read it set the visibility of the frame into false dispose and dispose the camera and then break it so that's the code let's try to run so you have this camera you have this camera now and then i will read uh this is our this is our qr code right so when you yeah this is the result <laughs> this is a wrong QR code let's try to use the other QR code this one where's the program did I close I used to monitor okay so this is the QR code oh. what happened he did not read it ah it's not clear copy I will use the other com other this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one. So it will display the information of the uh, QR code. So this is very simple program actually. So you can use this one, this code, to create your program like uh, in trans information system in a library or something that will use QR code. So that's all for today. Hopefully it will give you a learning on this type of simple program. That's all. Thank you.